Yo, we are here at Sunburn Free. If we're in Brixton Jam, please make some noise! We are here for the main event of the, main event of the day. On my left hand side, please make some noise for my man Juan. Let's go! I am taking no talks on my right hand side. Medium J. Yeah. Round battle, main event shit. You're gonna get straight into this. It's round one on one. Let's go, man. Let's go. In this battle, they'll claim that my nan's on some G shit. <laughs> that my dad has my penis. That my sister shots cokes and I. That my sister shots coke and hides grams in her cleavage. And you might all clap and laugh like the man is a genius. But I'm just confused about where he heard all my family secrets. <laughs> How do you do? I hear you ask. Well, here's what I have found. Him and Lefty have started their own spy gang now. I caught Lefty with binoculars outside my nan's house, shouting Jay. I caught Lefty with binoculars outside my nan's house, shouting Jay. She's got a stump leg, you better ride that down. <laughs> they talk about my mum's career as a barman. Now tell everyone about your baby daughter's guitar band. They talk about how my uncle's a yard man. And I'll expose your baby mum for looking like Tarzan. <laughs> I dare you, I fucking dare you, to talk about the extra finger on my aunt's hand. <laughs> and there'll only be one thing for it, the Juan Bang. <laughs> when I wasn't going to talk about your family, I'd rather do some extra cool penmanship. Plus, by bringing them up, I didn't think I'd get the full benefit. And then I realised I'd probably call my mum a testicle specialist, and when it comes to battling Big J, I guess it's all relative. <laughs> But shouts out to Lefty though, the two on twos you did with him are sick. My only issue is this, with every written he spits, you have a giggling fit. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching her two on twos, skip to Lefty's parts of course. Jay watches him attentively, a smile on his face starts to form. Lefty drops a funny punchline, the crowd will gasp and roar. Jay keels over like this, and starts to laugh some more. <laughs> Smiling from ear to ear till his cheeks are partly sore, beaming like a spastic and the crowd just can't ignore. They start looking at you like, what the fuck's he still laughing for? You rehearsed together for months, you must have heard that bar before. <laughs> Lost weight now. Look at you just go. Talk about You've gone from fat to quite fat. Talk about it. Talk about it. You've gone from fat to quite fat. Huge one, bro. Because every time Lefty told a new mum joke, you'd laugh so much that you'd lose one stone. That's why, in terms of swagger, mine's amazing, but yours, highly basic. And since you've lost weight, your old tees are just kind of draping. Plus, their size and shapes reminding Jacob of freshman cipher playing, because with the state of those XXLs, it's hard to know what the designer's saying. Mm. That's fire, that's fire. Yeah. But it's catch 22 when Jay tries bars. So, when you spit a bad bar, everyone rolls their eyes to the back. When you actually spit a good bar, the crowd are too surprised to react. <laughs> Simple shit. It's like you wrote your script and switched it with your little kids Biff and Chips. Try bars against Harry and then we saw your wig get split when Baker's fire killed you like it was 1666. Yeah. GCSE history bars you don't. History Go. bars, you don't know if Juan lives this shit. Younger viewers, hit your boy up for some revision tips. Before we start, yeah. those are the worst colour converts I've ever seen. <laughs> You should be doing some homework, not practicing to rap. Before this battle got confirmed, you was probably acting out a duck. Before I wrote these rounds, I got my pen and tried attaching it to a strap. Because I'm ready for this lyrical war. I've got a lyrical gun and lyrical bullets galore. I'll fire, but you won't even see it moving because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just shooting like a boss. But it'll be like Raptor versus Soul. Because I'll be looking awkward with a shot. But you won't catch me walking because it's hot. But at home I got two, one called Ian, one called Bill, but I ain't talking about shocks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got fucking 
I've got fucking brilliant wordplay. <laughs> An amazing boss. Yours would make a whole crowd collapse. People fall asleep when you rap. When I spit, the whole crowd collapse. <laughs> Don't flop has been shit as fuck since our last battle. <laughs> nowadays, it's full of a bunch of dickheads who, who act bad but seem frightened when they see trident or police sirens. I don't think your gay voice would ever suit you, you talking shit, so how could this guy ever seem frightening? But I'm not just calling you a dickhead. I'm putting all you motherfuckers like I'm doing a dance to Grease Lightning. <laughs> Damn, you're angry. Your fucking trousers are gay as fuck. They're rolled up like you're going to fucking turn. Let's <laughs> go! The other day, I was having a word with some of my Rasta friends. <laughs> The other day, I was having a word with some of my Rasta friends. They keep hearing you say Bumba Clark. They don't want you to do that again. <laughs> you're starting to make my gang annoy. They tell me to tell you that you're acting as boys and it's just, as, and it's just a fake gimmick that the fans enjoy. Psych, they actually told me to tell you, suck your mother, your blood bleeds batty. <laughs> than your bad bars. You shouldn't let it slide, Bagnall, because you go from English to Jamaican to Chinese. Sounds like you've had some very nice travels. <laughs> All that lingo collides worse than the ever slide tackle. I haven't heard a dialect that bad since the Gemini battle. <laughs> You just play stupid to make your character more convincing and strong. Then there was an interview of you that I was clicking upon where you genuinely couldn't tell Hulk who the British Prime Minister was. There was a laugh behind the camera, then a considerably lengthy pause. Hulk said it was David Cameron. Now I don't know if you know, but it's not him anymore. <laughs> Video back like, now you have to be gassing me. I want to be Rasta that's stupid in interviews. You are actually Ali G. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do a whole angle about how he doesn't know about the e how doesn't know about how he doesn't know about the EU, and I realise there's no way Big J knows about the EU. <laughs> he doesn't know about the referendum or when the next election's coming. He thought the in or out vote was to do with belly buttons. <laughs> <laughs> filling out his Facebook bio settings, hobbies and interests, telling mum jokes that are quite offensive, <laughs> favourite books, Liverpool Football Annual from 1997, <laughs> political views, oh, I don't really know much but Bush did 9-11. <laughs> When you battled Mark 1, your paper was flight in hotel so we could snore in bed. I, just, I don't mind research. Turns out flights from Chicago to Heathrow aren't something most people can afford to get. So I had a little look from Skyscanner. Turns out... <laughs> Turns out flights are 1,400 to 1,500 more or less. In other words, about one and a half grand was spent on battle rap at your expense. Oh. Translation, you're a beg. <laughs> Don't let the haters get you down. Keep doing what you do, Jay. From that convincing Jamaican accent to the glocks that you spray. With talent like that, I will give you any battle that you want to do, mate. Just as long as you pay. <laughs> the ABW's coming up. Amazing, right? Hillenbox arm and advance like what you say in a fife. Lux favorite in my tweet. Me versus him on the birthday save sounds nice. Uh, equips and battle like, yeah, well, lock it in. Safe or right? The conversation ends. Jay gets hyped. Two days go by, new message. You are paying, right? <laughs> and he 
Lux's like, yeah, well, I've arranged the flight. <laughs> uh, tells Lux he can name his price. <laughs> uh, tells Lux he can name his price. If you're willing to spend that much on Battle Rap and let go of your salary, I've got a deal for you, Jay. I just hope that you can agree. How about if I let you win 3-0 in this clash with me, you pay for Murder Mook to come over and battle me? <laughs> picture of your mum on Twitter. <laughs> You're gonna wish you never got a follow from Big J. This right here is gonna tickle everyone's ribcage. How can I look at the photo and thought, what? How has Juan's mum got a skin fade? Hey, no joke. I looked twice. It was no bloke. <laughs> hey, but them trims, she loves up. Catch her in the back of family pictures with a buzz cut. <laughs> but up until now, I bet you thought rap was nice. Well, fuck you, fuck your mum, and fuck her short back and say. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would you do if you had one shot? And one shot? What would you do? <laughs> hey, what would you do if you had one shot and one opportunity? Would you fuck the bitch or suck the dick? <coughs> Definitely suck the dick, look at his face. Because I went on his Facebook and I clicked photos of Jake. And I scrolled down to the bottom of the page. And I saw something I couldn't believe. Probably something I shouldn't have even seen. But it was a picture of your mate bent over with you grinding him with a big smile while you're holding his cheeks. So I scrolled up a piece. What? And see another picture of the same dude sitting on your knee. Now, that might be Facts. normal Facts. to you, Facts. but that just seems a little suspect to me. <laughs> hey, man, you must be mad if you think what well, I matter. Fuck that, I'll fold his chin. You said his bars are hard. Listen carefully or you won't notice him. And I thought, fuck that. I'll make two lines go over his head like Homer's trip. Because you're fucking waste, man. So when you're with your waste, man, friends, don't act like a G. Because you'll be holding your phone when the chrome's to your dome. You only act like part of the trap when you're home and alone. So you're going to live that student life. In a house cold with no dough, you can't beat me. It's round two, and that one bang got you close to the ropes. Ooh. See, they decide which way this wing goes, but I'm calm and relaxed. Because you're basically shuffle tea with Bamalam's weird arms attached. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not facts. But you're not, but you're not him, though. Come on, Black. But you're not him, though, because with his clothes, we can see the bigger picture like Art Attack. Nah. You, saw him, you saw him on YouTube back in the day. When you used to get two views, saw Shuffle T killing a posh boy angle and jumped into the picture like Blue's Clues. Oh. I can easily start my rounds with hi, I'm Big J, it's nice to meet you. Drop a hook on my beat, the right will hit you. I'll throw eggs at your friends you hustle weed to. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a chin like Shuffle T's shoe. <laughs> and you're mad young. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to be looking like a nonce. <laughs> so I can't be cool with you. Your mum and dad went to the same school as you. <laughs> I can't get angry. He's mad young. And I don't wanna, he don't want to see me vex. I just think it's proper funny that when you play out, you have to saddle your dad on the back of your BMX. <laughs> see that right there? That was a put him in a hearse bot. <laughs> It's proper funny that when your dad passes his driving test, you have to buy him his first car. <laughs> I'm marking you off until you ain't got no peas left. I spoke to Lefty and he said you ain't a G yet, you're just a prefect. I showed him one and he asked me, <laughs> I showed him one and he asked me if he's deaf. He did though. Cause the way he be moving his arms is making him seem wet. Cause the way that he speaks through them teeth to me is clear to see you ain't hardly a threat to just partially deaf. <laughs> fuck you, fuck Rob Wilson. When you say my name, say it with some respect. <laughs> Your baby daughter's next word will be the N word. Fucking old man! I taught her how to say it. It's not her fault though, it's Biggie J that is to blame. When he reads her Winnie the Pooh, he pronounces Tigger's name a different way. Oh. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> 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 She'll start saying it all the time. 
from when she starts elementary, in class with her bezies, inadvertently dropping it at dinner parties with lefties. <laughs> When you get home later, she'll greet you with an M-bomb instead of a high. <laughs> After watching minstrel shows on the telly all night, you go to sing of a lullaby and I bet she declines and starts reciting all of Biggie Smalls ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> you said that M-bomb because your mates okayed it. But fuck those Niki brothers. Fuck you. So what yeah. fuck you? Yeah. So what if Hope said it was huh? fine and you agreed together? No, 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 you should, no, no, no. That shit got me mad. You should have no, no, no. seen my temper. I was gonna run upon you Definitely both and squeeze my But then I suddenly remembered that Hope. Yo, yo, yo. Chill, man. 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 Chill, because two things came to mind when you finished that round. Number one, you said the M-bomb in a ba ba rap battle. Why did no one put him in the ground? Number two, Holt gave you a pass. Fuck, I wonder if he's still giving them out. <laughs> Um, you keep saying all these battlers sound the same, the interviews looking like a pissed off child, but then you copy Uno and Osha's jokes and sitcom smiles, it's like a, it's like a Yeezy Cat walk with what Big's compiled, just line after line of that ripped off style. Because you were battling every week, performing decent too, but nowadays you ignore the scene that bought you heaps of views. And the more battles that you did, the more that he would lose. There was Dan, Harry, Marv, and they all were beaten too. You spent your year at Fiddler's Elbow while your daughters needed you, then took a year out once you saw your streak was through. You didn't lose weight because you got bored of eating food, but because Fat Boy was biting off more than he could chew. <laughs> Your daughter, she's not big in that. But you were so offended by Uno's third that after you did the clash, you changed your profile picture to your daughter just to prove that she isn't fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's battle rap. Uno doesn't have to drop facts. Uno doesn't have to drop facts. She's so eager to prove that she hasn't got flab. <laughs> so eager to prove that she hasn't got flab. When people ask how's family life as a top dad, you reply like, yeah, well, my eldest daughter's still not fat. <laughs> we get it. She's not fat. There's no need for her to try to burn some calories. So you can stop using the word skinny to describe her personality. <laughs> and, yeah, you've lost, and yeah, you've lost weight, but you're still not medium-sized. Are you fat or are you not? Please just decide. Because <laughs> when I look at that neck tat, there's still a bit of flab where I can see at the sides. I guess that star tattoo's fitting. Because you're always going to be fucking meaty, alright? <laughs> Since this, the league's got shit up. Everyone can see, but it's like they just make do. I was gonna stop battling. I was keeping my head low to the grass, but I see how bare snakes move. I see prayers breaking through without breaking views. In a year, the top tier can't even get 100K. You don't either, so I don't know why I'm taking you. Yeah, I've lost a few pounds, but now it's like I have to come back and get rid of the dead weight here too. You can never be better than me. Can, can, can you believe that I ripped this? <laughs> Are you ready for some sick shit? I call my gun Emily Tilly, because it's a big bitch. Oh! <laughs> don't flop is dying. But don't worry, I'm back. And I'm going to kill this guy. I don't care who man is. Especially when his mum's rocking a Yunnan trip. <laughs> See, I'm a fucking G. All these men see me get peas, but you, Looking like Donkey from Shrek just past this GCSE. <laughs> and when I get high, I smoke the best weed I can get. You get high by going to bars and sniffing other people's cigarettes. <laughs> like we're smoking, then it's game over as soon as we get the package. My eyes get so fucked, I have to wear glasses on green like Edgar Davids. Um. And I bet you wish you didn't stand toe to toe or go punch to punch with me. 
You wear a robe, take your glass off, look in the mirror and pretend to be shuffle tea. Oh. <laughs> but see me? I'll be chilling where the fuck's at. <laughs> Tell him. No, no. Your whole life is based on Chucky from a rug rat. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got a glass. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Three rounds in, and it's not my best. <laughs> Three rounds in, and it's not my best. I only opened my gravesite graveyard this morning, so I've got bare space left. <laughs> I'm joking, you like know the slogan. Dickhead. <laughs> and you, yeah. Blood, you look like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I left him, man. I let out him. <laughs> <laughs>